YouTube, what is up? This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil. Follow me on Twitter at Neil Goodfella. Man, got another kick here today. Got this from the bottom of the stack, bottom of the archives right here. Now, this is not everybody's favorite kick. <clears throat> I also got another colorway of this kick too that I'm gonna show as well. Um, I got an earlier video on my channel of these kicks, um, and that they, these are the Nike Air Trainer Classic. But of course, they were shot on my phone. I think they were shot on my phone. They're not in HD, so for HD purposes, and if you're new to my channel, you can see this if you haven't looked through all my videos. And then it's just better quality, and I can tell you how I feel about these kicks and all that stuff. So, the kick here today is the Nike Air Trainer Classic, and the kick, this kick actually only just had um, white laces going through it. I got this for like 30 bucks, 30 or 40 bucks. Uh, from sneaker steel and uh, Man these kicks are flames. So they had a full-size run. Nobody ain't on these because Whatever who the hell care about these? You know what I'm saying? This is a uh, obviously a low top um, I'm not really too much of a low top fan, but these look so hard with jeans You know, I never really I don't I don't wear these with shorts. I don't think they look too good with shorts, but um, I'm in the trainers and stuff like that and I was just curious as far as like how does this stuff fit? I was aware of the second colorway that I have that's a you know that I like a little bit more than this one. But you know me, I like red, and you know, they just completely Chicago Bulls colors this out right here. And I definitely want to jump on it. If uh Tiger Woods had a signature shoe with Nike, which he does, but I think about Tiger Woods when I see this shoe though, man. <clears throat> definitely classic. I think the black laces actually complement this better than the white laces did. Um, this is one of those kicks that people don't care for. I'm going to just say it right then and there. Um, I love this kick, man. Like, I like it. You know what I mean? If, if it's in my collection, it's because I like it. Like, I buy what I like. And, you know, back then, it was like this fake fly wire kind of like stuff on there. And this this whole black. And this this embroidered uh, top right here that they be putting on the trainers. I definitely, definitely like that. And they did it on the back as well. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of bright. There we go. I don't know if you can sync the one on the front as well. But definitely fly, man. Definitely a fly kick. Preferations all on the front. As far as the quality going, these general uh, Nike, you know, regular synthetic. It ain't uh, like super quality materials. Um, as far as like the way this shoe made me feel, Chicago Bulls, Portland Trail Blazers. Summertime, black jeans, low key. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in the sneakers, but you know, I don't feel like wearing Jordans today. You know, that kind of feeling with these right here. Um, these right here, I don't obviously I don't wear them for trainer purposes. You know, where you jumping all back and forth and doing all that stuff. I casually wear all my kicks. I got this in a size nine and a half, and it's a perfect fit. You also got elastic bands on the inside that hold the tongue down as well. I don't know if I can really. My camera can really pick that up, but um, it's a common thing that's like uh, in like Jordan 3s, 4s, uh, a lot of sneakers from around this era, I guess early 90s, late 90s, I mean early 90s, late 80s, um, you know, when they had the elastic bands, obviously so the tongue won't go all crazy, and then it's more like of a snug fit on the foot. <clears throat> One of the reasons why I also got this too, because... Um, I like uh, Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld, the, com the, the comedy, the comedian, um, you know, kicking it with Wale and stuff like that. Definitely um, a fire little truce, you know, as far as like them both. I enjoyed the little complex uh, interview on them, you know what I mean? I just wish they actually just could have dropped the whole thing instead of breaking it into pieces. But, because uh, I know they both in the kicks and stuff like that. And it was just so funny because like people like, me and Wale, our reasons be so story-like. You know what I mean? Like, oh, we grew up with these kicks, nostalgic. And I ain't just talking about like me and him, like we on a high pedestal or something like that. But I'm saying as far as like, and, and you probably, you guys too, you know what I mean? You looking at a sneaker channel, sneaker video. So it's like, sneakers is more than that to you. But uh, when Jerry Seinfeld actually said his piece on him, he was like, yeah, uh, I just like white kicks. I just like white kicks because so-and-so football, it was a football player that 
always had some, I think, or something like that. It was just like a simple ass reason. It wasn't no, you know, it wasn't nothing like, oh, because Jordan was, you know, you know, and he was living in his time. You know what I mean? Seinfeld, if you look at that show, like he actually got some raw kicks and one of the kicks that he had was these. Now it wasn't this colorway, but it was definitely the silhouette and model. The model he had, the colorway, um, I think it might be the other colorway I got. Um, I'm going to do a review on those as well, but uh, he didn't have a red, white, and black colorway. He had a white colorway with something else, some different colors, probably teal or something. Um, and he also had the Nike Moabs. Uh, I really didn't too much see anybody wear a Nike Moab. Maybe Martin Lawrence and Dan Jerry Seinfeld, something like that. But uh, yeah, man, I'm definitely in the kick, so when I be looking at them old sitcoms and stuff like that, I definitely pick up on those things. Also, Two Complex also did like a Fresh Prince, a Bel Air, you know, the kicks he wore. And uh, they also did one on Seinfeld as well. Um, Dwayne Wayne from A Different World, he's another guy that wore like insane kicks. He definitely like wore that bread for a lot, a lot, a lot. Fire Red 4, White Cement 4s, uh, Fire Red 5s. Uh, I think it might have been one time he wore some 3s. Uh, his homeboy wore Carmine 6s. So, yeah, man, these kicks, it's nothing new, man. It ain't, like, super new. It's always been prevalent in, like, a lot of urban culture. So, but uh, seeing Seinfeld wear kicks, though, man, that was crazy, though, man. And uh, I like his I like his sneaker taste, though, man. It's not too bad. Like, this is actually pretty decent. He's more so in the low tops, though, looking at his style of kicks and mine. But when I seen these on his feet, obviously a different colorway. I was like, oh man, I can't wait to get those. So, and this is the, not the Nike Air Trainer Classic. I don't want to make this a long video, man. Um, this ain't the most hated kick, but everybody don't too much care for these. So, these probably look like old man shoes. They probably look like golf shoes, but I feel like, hey man, these joints are fresh. So, you know, you wear these with like some black jeans or something. Classic and clean. Rate, comment, and subscribe if you want. This is Nail Good Fella. Follow me on Twitter at Nail Good Fella. And remember, don't just stock the kicks, rock the kicks. And last but not least, let that joint breathe. Out.